Very good evening. Really thank you, Karan and Tej, uh, for having us over here. And uh, this is an honor, uh, speaking with such fine ladies uh, on this panel. Uh, well, to start with about my business is very much a woman-oriented business. And from my business partner to my franchisee partners are all women entrepreneurs. So uh, my business absolutely promotes uh, uh, women coming into and encourages a lot of women to work. So I have around 400 team members working with me who are women. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to have this uh, business uh, so that I, I, I'm able to encourage a lot of people. Excellent. Wonderful. Uh, good evening, everybody over here. Thank you, Karan, for giving me this honor. Um, as you know, I'm a designer. I started my career about how 20 years back. Um, it's, it's been a tough journey, I must say. It's uh, lots of ups and downs. And you grow every day, learn a lot of different things. And uh, a passion, a hobby became a profession and a full fashion uh, brand today. So it's nice to uh, learn a lot as you go down the line. Um, it's inspiring. I think male and women uh, designers mostly face um, different challenges, which we all have faced. But um, it's, it's, it's been a good learning journey, and I'm happy um, to have been a success in it today. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Nisha, what, what, what steps, what do we need to do to get more women in business? Yeah, exactly. So I was waiting to answer your question. Um, I think uh, Indian corporates have now included, uh, made it mandatory to have directors on their board, female directors. I think uh, it's an important move, but it should have come much earlier. You need to understand that this city does not uh, represent the rest of the country. India is still an extremely uh, male-oriented country where females are given pre-formatted rules and pre-formatted roles to play. So I definitely feel that there have to be more, uh, you know, there has to be more represent uh, representation in the corporate sector. I also feel that uh, parents at, at, at a grassroots level need to encourage girls to follow their dreams with as much passion as men are allowed to. So if you see, I mean, just taking an example from Bollywood, which I found very inspiring, was uh, hearing, uh, I recently in interviewed Kangana Ranaut, who was very candid about the fact that she had to actually fight to go and pursue her dreams. And today she's a success. So she was, uh, she was abused, she was uh, treated quite badly, and her father's gone on court saying that I would rather, you know, not have a child than have a female child. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a very um, inspiring, uh, something that inspires me a lot is, is, is the NGO Gulabi Gang, which, is, um, which was started by a, by a village woman, Sampat Pal who was abused by her in-laws. And rather than take, I mean, being an uneducated woman, in her own words, she was frightened, she was marginalized in the village. And when she started this NGO to speak out, um, she was, I mean, she was stood apart and wasn't included in the village. She was, she was uh, marginalized. But she stood up to what she believed was correct. She, she uh, gave a voice to a lot of women in Uttar Pradesh. Now, you already know that Uttar Pradesh is the largest uh, state for female infanticide. So that is, a, that is the state that actually needs something like Gulabi Gang. No doubt there have been politics, Sampat Pal has been ousted, but that's nothing to do with us. My point here is, you asked me, what should we be doing? So it's not only city people who have to go out there, form NGOs and have a voice. I feel even women NGOs, I mean women uh, you know, who are marginalized in villages, can create NGOs, can have a voice. There's a lot of media people. You know, there's this a very interesting um, little quip which you see on Instagram. It's a, it's a woman, uh, you know, using the street as a toilet, but she's got a mobile phone. Mm -hmm. So that's where villages are going. There's a lot of um, exposure. And that exposure, I think, is th there are game changers happening, but they're very slow. And I think we need people like us need to partner with village women and make a difference there. Perfect. Because it's city people who are game changers. Now, you brought up a good point about pre-formatted rules and roles for women. Raishma, is that your experience as well? And what steps would you take to get more women in business? And, and you mentioned differences as well amongst cities here in India. And that's really interesting because uh, in my current job portfolio, which is House of Milk, I get to straddle two different worlds. One, which is the traditional world, where I deal with artisans and 
things like fast career or timelines or quality control, it's, it's almost Greek to them.